this video is going to talk about um, how the oxide can break down in a MOSFET. So this is something that we don't want to happen. But since we don't want it to happen, we need to know how to prevent it from happening. Okay, so what's oxide breakdown? Well, if you have an insulator, such as silicon dioxide, if you put a high enough electric field across it, uh, it can break down and, and conduct the current. Same thing for any insulator. Air, for example, is an electrical insulator, but if you put a high enough electric field across it, it will still conduct current, uh, like in the case of lightning. So we want to avoid applying such a high electric field that the silicon dioxide will break down and conduct current because that's what we, we don't want that to happen. That's going to um, cause a, a serious breakdown in the characteristics of our transistor. Okay, so we need to know what the breakdown electric field is for silicon dioxide, and that's about 6 megavolts per centimeter. So as long as we don't exceed that voltage, then we won't break down the silicon. So let's take a look at a, a numerical example and say, let's say the thickness of the oxide, that's this thickness, T ox, is 50 nanometers. Okay, so what's the breakdown voltage if that's 50 nanometers? So we're going to write down, we want to find out what that breakdown voltage will be. So it's going to be the electric field at breakdown multiplied by the oxide thickness. So 6 times 10 to the 6 volts centimeter and the oxide is 50 nanometers so that's 50 times 10 to the negative 7 centimeters and the breakdown voltage will be 30 volts so if our oxide is 50 nanometers if I apply a, a, a gate voltage of 30 volts I can get breakdown of the oxide so obviously I don't want that to happen so you can build in things like safety factors into your design and say if you have a safety factor of 2 that means in any possible operation of this MOSFET you won't exceed 15 volts or if you put in a safety factor of 3 then whenever you operate this MOSFET you're not going to operate with a gate voltage of more than 10 volts.